aircraft making a condensation trail is very similar in many ways to when you go outside on a cold day and exhale, you create a condensation trail. That little cloud is a condensation trail. Now, if you take a two-mile walk on a cold day, and you can turn around, and you can see your condensation trail tracking all the way back for two miles, that's how crazy it is to think that what we're looking in the sky is actually condensation trails. The contrails, not the chemical, the contrails occur because of cold air, minus 30. It takes a high altitude, around 30,000 feet plus. There's a carbon dioxide and water vapor in that exhaust. That turns to ice crystals, and that's what you see, the white stream behind it. Those white crystals of ice warm up, dissolve, and the smoke goes away. And it never lasts more than a minute. What we're seeing now, and I first could not believe it, and I started looking at the skies, and these are not normal. They're not natural. There's something going on. I don't know who it is or why they're doing it. All I can testify is it's not natural and it's not normal. Baker's up about four feet in the air, see so how many splashbacks. And actually took two rain samples, one in July and the other one back in December. And what happened is I, I didn't really want to know. I'd read, read all the stuff about the chemtrails, and I knew they would spray us because I'd seen them spray us with malathion. Uh, back in the 90s, we had a problem with what was called the Mediterranean fruit fly here in central Florida. And they decided in their incredible stupidity, they would spray us with a neurotoxin called malathion. I mean, they sprayed the houses, the cars, the, the homes, the everybody. Bikes, and everybody got sprayed yeah. with malathion. So I knew that these idiots would do something like this. And so I tested the water, and then I took the, I took the sample, and I put it in the refrigerator, and I sealed it. And I thought, do I really want to know this? Well, six months later, they were spraying us really heavy again. It was over Christmas, and I took the water samples again. And finally, I sent them to a laboratory out of California, and I put them down as rainwater samples. And both of them came back so high in barium and aluminum, mm -hmm. they were considered toxic by the EPA. I have those rainwater samples tested posted on my website. And so what I always, so I, at that point in time, I began to realize, George, that somehow these compounds, these, these elements are being put into the atmosphere. Uh, but they tie together, though, remember, with HARP, they tie together with the military industrial complex. We can do it. We can start talking about that in detail if you'd like. Uh, they also tie together with scalar wave application, and they also tie together with the artificial intelligence to try to connect us all together with by ionizing the atmosphere with so much electromagnetic radiation and plasma. So there's a lot of really interesting things we can talk about tonight concerning all of those topics, and each of those is a lecture on its own that I've written and actually have in my notes here that I can go through. They're, so, they're in the 20 it, shows all by themselves, Ted. Well, it's so funny. Uh, your producer asked me to send you 30 questions, and I started laughing because, I mean, I literally have a 100 articles in multiple journals laying out in front of me for an hour and a half show, and I thought, this is going to be fun trying to get all this done in one night. So, uh, <laughs> but, 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 we, but it all ties back together with more gelons. It ties together with the artificial computer. It ties back together with Satanism. I know that's hard for Ooh, people to that's believe. that's a weird tie-in. magic. All right. Now, the barium and aluminum that's been discovered, is there any way that that would be in the atmosphere naturally? If you had a, a hydroelectric power plant, not hydroelectric, but coal-powered power, fire, fire, coal fired power plants, like in China, uh, you know, if the coal was contaminated with these types of metals, it could. It could be in the thing, but usually that's sulfur dioxide that's being caused, and that causes the acid rain. I've never heard of coal being contaminated in these types of concentrations with it. So I don't believe in any way that can be in the atmosphere naturally, George. And plus, on top of that, this Alzheimer's has gone through the roof in the United States now. We've got so many people suffering with senile dementia and so many problems with so many people suffering with so many different types of diseases. Yeah. I mean, look at this mess with adult onset diabetes. I mean, look at that high blood pressure. Look at the depression. Look at the cancer rates. I mean, all these things are through the roof.